When a man is down on his luck and suicidal, his guardian angel turns up and shows him what really would be like if he didn't exist. Can one man really make such a difference? This is the Monkey Life Half Ray, coming through the ashes to your computer screens, and today I'll be reviewing It's a Wonderful Life. It's based on a book for, by Philip Van Doren Stern and directed by Frank Capra. George Bailey, played by the brilliant James Stewart, Jimmy Stewart, is troubled and crashes his car. He gets to a bridge and is close to committing suicide. But Clarence, played by Henry Travers, pretends to be drowning and George saves him. Clarence reveals that he is in fact a guardian angel, sent down to help George. But he wish George wishes that he'd never been born. And Clarence shows him what life would have been like if George was never born. I love the acting between James Stewart and Donna Reed, who plays Mary Bailey, his wife. Um, it's great chemistry, you can truly see the uh, good acting between them both. Um, all the way through the film, you see George being left behind by his brother. He's got dreams to travel and go to college, but for the greater good, he always puts them in second. He always puts other people in front of himself. Uh, his father has a fatal stroke. He has to take over his building, building a loan um, place. And uh, until his brother comes back, Harry, he uh, has to run the building a loan. But uh, when Harry comes back, he's got a wife. And his father-in-law, his new father-in-law, has offered him a job. But uh, George, being who he is, he sacrifices everything to stay on and keep his father's business going. Also in World War Two, George can't enlist because of his ear that he uh, damaged while saving his brother uh, at the age of 12. He uh, damaged the ear beyond all recognition. And uh, Harry gets to be the hero and George never leaves Bedford Falls. Uh, it's a true Christmas film for the family. It's uh, truly, truly a good film. And um, I give it a nine and a half. Out of 10. I hope everybody out there has a brilliant Christmas and a happy new year. I hope you'll be tuning in on Christmas Day to see Last Christmas, the new Doctor Who special, and uh, you'll look forward to seeing my review. Okay, I hope you're all going to have a good Christmas. Take care. Bye bye.